So, hey, saints, it's Sister with a Testimony. Hello, hello, hello. And uh, my Mount of Olives, Olivet, a.k.a. Hope on a Star. She's like, I smell the peppermint. Yeah, see, I just gave her some peppermint. She's still enjoying that. So, that's one way to get her to follow me, right? She's motivated by food. Most people are motivated by one or more things, so... Hope is no exception. She's just like a person. She's motivated by what she's motivated by. She's checking it out. She knows I've got one more piece left. She can smell it. But now check this out, saints. Um, check out that pretty nose. See the three black dots right there? Like somebody just took three fingers and put them on her nose and uh, said, ah, I've touched her. Hope has been touched by the Lord himself. And I can guarantee you, ha, ah, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, there's only one, but I can tell you what, one, two, three, isn't that cool? And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful horse. Um, oh, she says, Mom, your video on my ear, I haven't shaved. <laughs> Look at that eye. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, again, one, two, three. And so these are distinguishing characteristics. Look at that eye. It looks like God took eyeliner and he painted her eye with eyeliner. And she has a white eyelash. Isn't that amazing? So she's got a beautiful white eyelash with eyeliner. God did that. That's, they're called paints. There's a reason for that. God painted her. And if you'll notice, see this right here, the brown and then it's cut up with the white. She's, again, I told you all this before, she's considered a medicine hat. And um, the Indians, of course, thought that they had magical powers. Well, Hope doesn't have magical powers, but she has been anointed by God to touch people and to change people's lives. So a lady came by the yard sale, the church yard sale the other day, and her horse had passed away. And um, she's been missing her horse, and she's been really sad. She said, the horse was my life. And see, I understand that, saints, because my horses were my life. Uh, they were my idol for a long, long time. And uh, when I finally figured it out, whoa, whoa, stay, whoa. When I finally figured it out, saints, and I repented, now I can actually enjoy my horses because... I understand that the Lord has given hope to me for a purpose. He has a plan for hope. And uh, she's just absolutely a gorgeous animal. And the fact that she is so sweet, you know, and she listens, she obeys. Saints, if you find a friend like Hope, and they're honest, and they're trustworthy, and they'll tell you the truth, and they'll be truthful. Saints, don't, don't diss people when they tell you the truth. Don't disown them when, when you're all offended because of what they said or what they did. Or, You know, this horse is an equine. She's not a human being. But I can guarantee you she has feelings. People have feelings. Animals have feelings. A lot of times, saints, we're more interested in our animals feelings than we are in human beings feelings and uh, I'm gonna tell you what saints it's time that we got off our high horse and uh, did away with the pride and said you know what Lord this ain't about me this is about you so now that it's about the Lord's work and people this lady came and she got on hope and she texted me later and she said, I just want to thank you because it meant the world to me to spend time with hope. And uh, she said she'd like to spend more time with hope. Well, you know, I figured out that hope is a service animal. And because she is a service animal, she's got to work her job and she's got to be what God called her to be. She's not a pet. She's not yard art. Hope on a star. 
is a service animal and because she's a service animal and her mom that's me I'm a service provider I'm a minister so she's a minister and <laughs> she following me wanting that peppermint I know it's just the peppermint she knows I've got one more pack quit getting in my pocket you want that you want that there you go see that <laughs> That's all she wanted. See, she's, she's honest. She says, I wasn't following you for the video. I wasn't following you because I love you so much. I was following you for the peppermint. So I guess what I'm saying, saints, is if you love the Lord and you want to serve the Lord, it doesn't matter if you're a horse, a human being, or what you are. You were created for God's glory. You were created for His glory and for His purpose. Find whatever it is that you are supposed to be doing for the Lord and get about your Father's work. Hope can do it with my help. I can do it with Hope's help, with my husband's help. Um, I don't have to have a, a big entourage. I don't have to have a bunch of people um, stroking my ego and carrying my books for me and opening the car door for me saints service is about serving others it's not about being served it's about serving and yes she'll follow me because of the peppermint but she also knows that i'm gonna feed her so the cool thing is once you develop a rapport and you understand who you are with the Lord, you understand, saints, that you're to serve. You're to serve. Follow the Lord like hope is following me, not for peppermint candy. Follow the Lord because you love Him. Follow the Lord because you obey Him. Follow the Lord because He's your Creator. Saints, the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, they will lead you and guide you to all truth. You'll find your ministry. Find your ministry and get in it. Did you drop your rain, Hope? She says, Mom, pick up my rain. I don't want to step on it. Scriptures tell us, saints, about those rains. That's for another video for another day. I just want to pray for you today before you leave. Father God, I lift up my brothers and sisters. I declare and decree that they are the righteousness of God. They are the holiness of God. You have put a robe of righteousness upon them, Lord, and you have called them out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Father God, I thank you and I praise you for all of the many blessings that you've blessed all of us with. You've given us every spiritual blessing. And Father God, right now I just bind the works of the enemy. I command the enemy to cease and desist out of your life. I declare and decree... That because you are the glory of God and the righteousness of God and the holiness of God, your service will not be in vain. The Lord will bless the efforts of your hands, the work of your hands, and you will become what he called you to be. And that's a servant, not to be served, but to serve others. I bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach over you, a sister with a testimony. Have a wonderful day, saints. God bless you. I love you. And it's my Mount of Olives, a.k.a. Hope. Put your hope in the Lord, saints. God bless you. I love you. Talk to you later.